Today is April 26th, and I'm just out in the woods. It's 2023, by the way. I'm just out in the woods, and uh, I love a lot of our native plants that we have here in the Pacific Northwest, so I just found this really cool spot, and I wanted to, to share. So we've got skunk cabbages, which are really freaking cool. They're really exotic looking. Uh, Lysichiton americanus, and I'm probably saying the genus name wrong. Down here, I'm just stepping on a skunk cabbage too down beneath my feet. That's a great big thing. Those are wild. Oh look, it's trapping flies. That's cool. Then uh, <clears throat> this little fern, it's little now. It's Some of the new fronds are opening up. There's a, a great big fiddlehead over there. That is uh, Ethereum felix femina. Oh, dadgummit, what's the, is that a lady fern? I forget the, the name. This is Dryopteris expansa, although it's all smashed down. Um, spiny wood fern. It looks like, yep, that is, these are new fronds here coming up. Ooh, I smell that skunk cabbage now. Um, Myanthemum dilatatum, um, false Solomon seal. I think there's a couple false Solomon seals. And then over here, move my bag. This is Blechnum spicant. Or a deer fern. You can tell that it's a, a deer fern and not a sword fern because the, the leaflets connect to the rachis. It's not called a rachis on a fern, but whatever it's called, it connects across the whole width of the leaflet. But this is a really... Most people wouldn't think this is a cool area. It's kind of a bog, but I think it's really cool because it hosts a lot of really cool native plants. I'm trying to think if there's anything else really cool in here. I don't think so. Anyway, that's all. Look at that.